I was in there, it changed my life. I was like slapped, like with just purpose or I felt like passion. All right, y'all, so my journey to photography is not the most normal one. I didn't grow up at eight years old, loving photography, taking pictures everywhere I went, no. My life was truly interrupted with photography out of nowhere, and I really feel like that was from God because now it's truly my passion and I love doing it for people. But it's not your typical story, it really ain't, so let's get into it. As I said before, photography was not my game plan. I grew up loving art, all about it, sketching, drawing, and through my life I wanted to be so many different things. I wanted to be a hairstylist, I wanted to be an interior designer. I wanted to be a pediatric doctor. I wanted to be an obstetrician, the one that delivers the babies. I wanted to do so many things. So when I got to college, I had to really buckle down on what do I want to do. And so I went with graphic design because I felt like this is art within more of a lucrative space or more of a need-based occupation. So I went to junior college for a year to get the general ed, you know, all that stuff out the way and then I went to UIC the University of Illinois in Chicago which is a really great school and I went for my BA in graphic design like I just said and so I was going through it it was about a four-year program for me after the one year at um, the junior college which was crazy um, so I was in college for a total of five years and when I got to my senior year in college something happened I signed up for a photography 101 class and it was just for me to fill in the gap so that I can graduate. Now y'all know them classes where you just need to get the credits so you can graduate. This was definitely one of them. So um, I got into this class and as I was in there, it changed my life. I was like slapped like with just purpose or I felt like passion because of the teacher his name was Chris and he was such an amazing teacher shout out to you Chris because you made me love it in a way that I've never did before my life literally changed after that class so after senior year I graduate I'm calling up my cousin my little sister I'm like y'all let's get some photos let's get you know y'all in front of the apartment let's get some portraits done my cousin is an artist so let's get some artist stuff done let's get some everything so i just really 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 went hard and i also started doing photography at my church a lot so it was really 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 gaining that repetition for me and then people from college and the people at my job that were asking oh my god do you do this do you do this and out of nowhere it really just started to boom into this like freelance business and like i said it was something that i never wanted to do i never expected it i wanted to be the one that designed the next nike logo that was me that was my you know vision going into college and so it was just crazy how god kind of detoured my life but it really 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 was a blessing in the long run and seven years later here i am and you know with my life kind of being interrupted it really showed me that when you are god's child you have to just go with his path and where he's leading you is better than what you think and photography it turned into something that i started to own I really like put myself in this space of like, okay, Ashley, this is who you are. This is what exudes a part of your purpose. Because photography has really shown me the power of what God has placed inside of me. And I feel like photography is a branch of my purpose. And I really feel like my purpose is to see all things well and to see the best in people and to bring it out of them. So like I'm an extractor, I'm a motivator, I'm very much that. So you can ask my friends, my sisters, I always talk about positive things. I'm always looking forward to the next great thing in someone and pointing it out and asking questions about like, hey, did you know that you're really good at this? Or hey, did you see that you do that naturally? That's just something that I love to do and it's something that I do naturally. And so with photography, I'm able to really capture people in their best element 
and bring something out of them that they've never seen. You know, with photography, sometimes it's a vulnerable thing. It's a very vulnerable thing for people to come in front of a camera when they've never been in front of one or they've never had a photo shoot or maybe this is their 100th photo shoot and they're still vulnerable because they're not able to see the photos right away until after you're doing them. You know, I for sure show them like the back of the camera, but it's still kind of like, oh, I'm open. Like, what do I do? Like, you know, and so I take that very seriously. And so photography literally has shaped so much greatness in me. And it really has helped me to hone in on discipline, hone in on consistency, hone in on resilience. And we're gonna talk about consistency in a minute. But my life with photography and just the freelance life of it has been really great. And I've learned so many things along the way. So I wanna get into some of the things that I've learned because I know this could probably help somebody else. And I know being seven years in, I have picked up on a lot of things, y'all. A lot of things that blindsided me, but also rewarded me. So let's get into it real quick. The number one thing that I've learned in my journey of photography is it's going to sound like a broken record it's going to sound like what you've heard before but it's really really true and it's key especially within this field consistency and repetition when i tell you when you are consistent yes you're going to hear it you've heard it from your favorite podcaster from your favorite pastor from your favorite business coach but it's really true it's old school it's the best way to really hone in on your craft. And I would say that's the number one thing that I have learned really does work. But here's the thing, you can be consistent and not give quality. So you gotta be strategically consistent and you gotta be able to be consistent while upgrading maybe your lenses or upgrading your style, upgrading your um, way you capture. You know, there, need, there needs to be some type of growth. You know, people that saw me years ago on Instagram posting my stuff, they can now come up to me and be like, I remember when you first started and to see your work, it keeps getting better and better. And that is a beautiful thing to see, but it all came from consistency and repetition. But also upgrade and tweak what you're doing. Don't be too pompous that you can't, you know, learn more things on YouTube University or learn more things from other photographers that you see online. So yeah, that is definitely the number one thing I would say is consistency. It's a broken record around everywhere, but it really does pay off. The second thing I would say is more of an inner thing. It's more working on your heart, working on your internal system. I have learned that it is not healthy to compare your work to someone else's. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Let me stretch my legs out for this. Comparison happens. It just does, we're human. We wanna go to a higher level, we wanna see greater things, we wanna be able to do work, oh my God, like that, because having a model really does help you to see, dang, I can do that too, or I can go forward like them. However, it's really, 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 really important that you keep your mind on the prize of who you are as a photographer. Yes, there are so many photographers out here. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Oh my God, there's so many. Why should I even continue? No, that is where you will go wrong because you're not supposed to allow what someone else is doing dictate how you maneuver in your photography career. And here's the thing, yes, there's a million photographers out there, but there's not one you. There's not a you, there's not a you photographer, if that makes sense. There's not another Ashley Mia photographer. There's not another you photographer. And so, all right, let me get back up here. I'm gonna say that comparison is a stopper. It's not something that's going to make you feel like you can go forward. So I would say be inspired, but whenever you feel like your mind is trickling off into comparison or comparing your chapter one to their chapter 30, then it's time for you to maybe get off social media and it's time for you to really hone in on what you do. Trust me, I have been there and I still deal with that many times, but I've learned to nip it and understand, Ashley, you are here. Your chapter is now. This is your chapter seven. You know, it's been seven years, so this is your chapter seven. You can't compare 
your chapter seven to someone's chapter 30. But I've learned to nip that and keep going, let it be as fuel to keep working harder, but also working smarter with my work and um, not allowing it to drown out what I've done or kill what I've done because it's really not fun, y'all. It's not fun to do that, so. I've definitely learned that. The third thing that I've truly learned is that you really need to believe in your work. That's why I want you to believe in yourself. Yes. Nobody else is gonna believe in your work like you do. It starts with you. What I need you to know is, is that there are levels to everything. There's levels to your career, levels to womanhood, levels to manhood, levels to you know sisterhood. There are just levels to everything, right? And I really just believe that you have to have a vision in mind on how you want your work to look and then go full force on that. But these repeated sayings really do work. But it's only when you start to believe in yourself. Nobody can do it. The fourth thing that I've learned that I really take to heart, like really take to heart, is make people feel comfortable when they're with you. I really do feel like photographers, because we're a self business where they're one self proprietor we're the only ones doing what we do that we forget that we're a business we're looked at as a service and we forget that customer service part or we forget that customer relatability part and many of us just here's the camera hi how are you so let's start shooting no like hey how are you doing how are the kids how's your life going uh, did you eat today? How you feeling? Like, how was your drive in? Like, they're a person. And I think we need to remember that people can be just as skeptical as you are when you're learning something new or you're trying to meet somebody new. Especially if this is a, a person that you've never seen before or you don't even know and they're starting to believe in your work and they want to book a photo shoot. Remember that these people are people. They're not just objects or models or subjects that you can use for your portfolio. They're real people. Make sure that they feel welcomed in your space and not as a stranger or as an alien because they won't come back and they won't recommend you. So yeah. And the last thing I've learned is to please keep going. Please, please. Whatever you do, do not stop. This goes back with the number one thing that I said with consistency and repetition. It's really gonna pay off. And I have to say this to me at least quarterly to keep going because as you continue to do something, you always wanna know what can you do next? How can you pivot? And I'm always thinking about things like that. Always, always, always. But I really do feel like as you keep going, you're showing people that you are a faithful freelancer or you're a faithful business person, you're a faithful photographer, and people are attracted to businesses or people that are consistent, um, that are stable, that won't just fly off or stop doing photos because they didn't get enough people for that month. No, they want to see someone that is faithful but that is also growing and that is also taking their craft seriously. So yeah, I would definitely say please keep going and do not forget why you started. Um, I think a lot of us forget why we start. And for me, my journey was interrupted, right? It wasn't something I wanted to do. But like I said, when I gained that ownership of it and was like, okay, this is me, I'm in my bag, like this is my thing. Um, I started to put a why to it and my why is definitely my family, it's definitely, you know, my future family, it's uh, definitely just what I want to see different in the photography community. It's really of just being able to be a photographer but someone that truly does home relationships within the career and making people feel beautiful. My why is definitely wrapped in upgrading people and making them see the goodness within themselves. And you know, when you're on a photo shoot, you're gonna feel upgraded. You're gonna feel like I'm legit. You know, you're gonna feel like you matter. And I really take that so seriously. And so those are the things that wrap up into what my why is. As you keep going, you have to remember your why and it's going to fuel you. It's going to help you in those days when you don't want to get up and do photos. It's going to help you when you don't feel like you're at your best state um, because then that's when discipline comes in. Discipline is when you do things when even you don't want to do it. Please keep going. Don't stop. Put your why 
in the driver's seat, put it in the passenger seat, put it behind you so it's all surrounded by you so that you'll keep pushing even when it gets hard. But okay guys, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you love your girl, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a subscribe. If you're not subscribed right now, go ahead and subscribe. And remember to press that bell notification so you're notified anytime that I post and that you can keep seeing videos just like this. But if this is the weekend you're watching it, have a good week. If this is the weekend and you're watching it, have a good weekend. And until then, I'll see you soon. Peace.